Hello and welcome back. This tutorial looks at graphing a line in y equals mx plus b form. First of all, I want to mention that m represents the slope, which is like the steepness of the line. The higher the value, the steeper the slope, the steeper the line. And b represents the y-intercept, which is like the starting point of the line. Together, those two are going to create a nice, beautiful line for you. Let me show you what that means. So our slope m can be a positive or a negative number. If it's positive, it's going to slope up and to the right, and if it's negative, it will slope down and to the right. The y-intercept can also be positive or negative, and that, again, is the first point you're going to put down on the vertical axis. Here are the six examples that we're going to look at, and let's get started. So the very first example is y equals to x over 2 plus 4. I'm going to rewrite this as y equals to 1 half x plus 4 because that lets us see the slope a little easier. Uh, I can just pull that fraction out in front. So the slope m is the number in front of x, and that's 1 half, which means I'm going to be rising 1, running 2. I'll show you what that means. And, this, and the y-intercept is 4, which means I'm putting my starting point on the vertical axis at y equals 4. Now I'm going to add a few more points by going up 1 over 2 to the right, up 1 over 2 to the right. Add as many as you need and grab a ruler and extend all the way across the graph while following the pattern of rising one, running two. So your line needs to go all the way across the graph, all the way from left to the right, and add little arrows, which actually mean that your line is going on forever. Okay, so let's look at the steps to graphing a line. First, you're going to use your y-intercept to put your first point on the y-axis, or the vertical axis. Second, you're going to use your slope, the number in front of x, to add a few more points. If your slope is 1 half, for example, you're going to rise 1, that's the numerator, run 2 to the right, that's the denominator, and add a few more points that way. If your slope is negative, you're actually going to be dropping instead of rising. And lastly, you're going to neat extend your line all the way across the grid. So you're not just going to join the dots, you're going to go all the way across the grid, add a few arrows, and you're done. The next example is y equals 3 quarters x plus 8. So here the slope m is 3 quarters, that's the number in front of x, and the y-intercept b is 8, positive 8. So I'm going to start with putting my first point at 8 on the y-axis, and I can't really rise 3 in this case because that's going to take me off the graph. So I'm going to actually go in the opposite direction, go down 3 and 4 to the left, which is still giving me a positive slope. And from each point, I'm going up 3 over 4, up 3 over 4, and like I said, it still gives a positive slope. Extend the line across the graph, add your arrows, and the graph is done. Beautiful. Aha, uh -huh. so this is a different example, y equals to negative 2x. So first of all, I know that my slope is negative 2 because that's the number in front of x. But I'm going to rewrite it as negative 2 over 1 because I like to see it as a fraction. That means instead of rising because it's negative, I'm going to drop 2, and I'll show you what it means, and still run 1 to the right. So what is my y-intercept? The y-intercept is actually 0 because I'm not ad adding anything on at the end. You can think of myself as adding a zero. So I'll put my y-intercept at zero, which is actually the origin, drop two down and one to the right, which gives you a nice negative slope. You can see it's really nice and steep because the value two is a pretty high number. And it's negative, which means it's going to slope down and to the right. So just extend your line, and add your arrows and you're done. So it's a nice negative steep slope. This next example, y equals x, gets people a little bit confused, but it's super easy. I'm going to rewrite it as y equals to 1x plus 0. Because if I'm not multiplying by anything, I'm really multiplying by 1. And if I'm not adding anything, I'm really adding 0. So my slope is 1, which is actually 1 over 1, rise 1, run 1, and my y-intercept is 0. You can also think of y equals x as whatever the x value is, the y value is exactly the same. So I'm going to put my y intercept of the origin, rise 1, run 1, put a few more points, and extend my line. 
Another one that throws people off is y equals 5. Whenever you have y equals anything, that means the slope is 0 and you're going to have a horizontal line. So I will put a point at y equals 5, just like the equation says, and extend it to a horizontal line. Basically, it means that it doesn't matter what x is, the y value is always 5, which makes a horizontal line. Similarly, with x equals negative 3, that creates an undefined slope, which is a vertical line. So I'm going to put a point at x equals negative 3 and draw a vertical line going up and down. So here again are the steps to graphing a line. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If so, I would greatly appreciate it if you shared this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.